Hello. Today we're going to talk about importing plain text files in the movie captioner. If you already have a transcript of your video, it's a simple thing to import the text in the movie captioner. I have here a Microsoft Word document, and it has each caption set on a different line, and that's the way I'll import it into movie captioner, so that each one will be a caption. I know that movie captioner only takes plain text transcripts, so I'm going to do a save as and I'm going to select plain text from the pull down menu and I'll hit save. Remember this window now because we're going to come back to it again in a minute. Now I'll hit OK. I'm going to movie capture. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to load my movie and save my project. OK, now I'm ready to import the plain text file that I just saved from Microsoft Word. I'm going to choose text and line form so that each line will become a separate caption. I'm going to find it on my desktop. Okay, so I imported each line as a separate caption. But I noticed something here. Part of my caption is missing. It's supposed to say, by the air wax as they're called. It should be here, right? By the... Why did it do that? It was invisible until I clicked on it. Now I see that I have these odd question marks here before and after wax and one on the word there. Let's go look at our Word document for a minute. That's where the smart quotes are and the curly apostrophe. These are invalid characters. Not that Movie Captioner can't take quotes or apostrophes, but these are style formatted characters that need to be replaced by their supported counterpart characters, which are straight quotes and apostrophes. If we tried to create a captioned movie with these, it may throw a monkey wrench into the works and fail. So we're going to get rid of all our captions here and try again. Let's go back to Microsoft Word, and we're going to save it as a plain text file again. But you remember that screen I told you about before? right here. I'm going to select the radio button for other encoding. This is very important. I'm going to find UTF-8. It's right here, Unicode 6.3 UTF-8. And then we're going to save it. Okay, let's go back to Movie Captioner and try again. Let's re-import that same file. Now the quotes show up like they're supposed to. And there's the apostrophe. That will work correctly now. Another way to import is text in paragraph form if you have a paragraph or large body of text. I have the same transcript here in paragraph form. I'm going to save it the same way, plain text file, and make sure I click UTF-8 encoding. Okay, so let's go back to Movie Captioner. Now when I import as text in paragraph form, it's going to look at my preferences and use my setting that I have for maximum characters per caption. Here I have it set to 90, which is the default. Let's change that to 60 and we'll save that. Now I'm going to import. This time I'm going to use text in paragraph form. I'm going to find my text file again and it's going to break up the captions where it can, every 60 characters, into separate captions. Okay, so there are my captions. I can then use my editing buttons to rearrange the captions. Let's say I don't want the word welcome on its own line. I can select number 11 here and I'll hit the merge captions button. And I pulled that word up and eliminated the caption it was on previously. Once I have the captions arranged the way I want them, I can use my Set Time Code button to synchronize the captions to the video. We'll look at that in our next tutorial. Okay, so remember, whenever you save your plain text file, you're going to use Save As, and after you click Save, you're going to have the option to click Other Encoding. Select that, then find UTF-8, and that should get rid of these invalid characters.
smart quotes, curly apostrophes, ellipses, m dashes, n dashes. A lot of these symbols are not supported in XML, nor are they supported by some other formats, especially the SCC format. So they have to be converted by saving them with UTF-8 encoding. Remember that and you'll avoid a lot of problems with your captions. Thanks for watching. And you can try Movie Captioner for yourself. Download the free 14 day trial version today at www.synchromedia.com.